Hola amigos, bienvenidos, welcome to the Spanish channel and Grammar Checkpoint 6. Today we're going to continue looking at the present tense and with a focus on irregular verbs. Venga, vamos. Okay, let's go, folks. Um, so just to begin with today, I'd like to recap uh, what we learned in Checkpoint 5, um, conjugating regular verbs in the present tense. So could you conjugate these verbs for me, please, using the pronouns provided? Okay, I'll come back to you shortly. Gracias, hasta luego. Y listos en uno, dos, tres. Venga. Okay, I read, leo. I speak, hablo. I enjoy, disfruto. I describe, describo. We put, ponemos. They improve, mejoran. You give, das. And finally, number eight, which is an irregular verb, tener, to have. I have, tengo. In checkpoint five, we started looking at irregular verbs and we focused on tener. And we established that when you conjugate an irregular verb, it doesn't necessarily follow the same pattern as we've been used to on the grid that we've used to conjugate regular verbs. And we also established that sometimes the endings are actually as they ought to be from our uh, grid, but the stem is sometimes different. So we're going to look at some examples of those today. But before we do that, could you conjugate the verb tener in the present tense for me? Okay, come back to you shortly. Adios. Y vamos a ver en tres, dos, uno. Okay, I have. Tengo. You have. Tienes. He or she has, or the formal version of you. Tiene. We have. Tenemos. All of you have. Tenéis. And finally, they have. Tienen. Right, and let's move on to some more irregular verbs. So I've got six verbs for you here that are irregular. We've got ser, to be, tener, to have, which we've already seen, ir, to go, hacer, to do, to make. It means both of those things. Querer, to want, and poder, to be able to. So just to familiarize yourselves with those new verbs, could you complete numbers one through to 12? So how do you say I go, I have, and so on? The answers are down here, but I would encourage you to be looking through the list as well. Okay, en cinco minutos, vamos. Y vamos a continuar en uno, dos, tres. Okay, I go, voy. You've heard me say that before in lessons when I've said, for example, I'm going to continue now. So, voy a continuar, for example. I have, we should be used to, tengo. I can, puedo. I do or I make, hago. I am, soy. Now, some of you might be saying, hang on a minute, I know how to say I am, and it's not soy, it's estoy. For example, estoy bien, estoy fenomenal. Well, you would be correct, but there are indeed two different verbs for to be. Uh, we're going to look at those another time because there's lots of rules as to when you use one or the other. Um, I want, quiero, we're going to use that later as well. Number seven, we have, tenemos. Number eight, we go, vamos. You've heard me say that a lot. Number nine, we do or we make, hacemos. Number ten, we want, queremos. Number 11, we are, somos. And finally, for number 12, we can, podemos. Okay, to become a little bit more familiar with these irregular verbs, I'd like you to translate this text for me into Spanish, please. Now, if you've completed the main course lessons, then you should be familiar with a lot of this vocab, so it will help. If not, you might need to use a dictionary here or there, but the important thing is that you are using the correct verbs and conjugations. Okay, I'll see you shortly. Hasta luego. Y voy a continuar en uno, dos, tres. Okay, before you go through and correct this, um, let's just read this together just to check our pronunciation uh, and then have a moment to go through and uh, make any corrections you need. Okay, so let's go. Soy Jacob y tengo ocho años. Mi cumpleaños es el 20 de julio. Vivo en Escocia y voy a una escuela primaria. Hago mucho deporte, por ejemplo, el baloncesto en el verano y el esquí en el invierno. Mi padre es alto y tiene el pelo negro. Mi madre es muy alta y tiene los ojos azules. Son simpáticos pero estrictos. Quiero ir a España en el futuro 
pero mis padres quieren ir a Francia porque pueden hablar la lengua o el idioma. Ok, have a look through and make your corrections. And the final activity today is for you to complete this grid um, conjugating each of those six verbs into the present tense for me. There are a few already there to help. Um, obviously, the more you can do by memory, the better. And keep rehearsing, keep practicing these over time. Okay, come back to you shortly. And your answers um, at the bottom of the page, just to double check. As I said, please do keep looking at these. Please do keep recapping. Y muy bien. Well done, everybody. Uh, next lesson, actually, that I'm recording is uh, to do with the main course, and it's all about appearances. So do check that out when you've got a moment, and I'll be recording the next grammar checkpoints in the next week or so. Uh, until the next time, hasta luego. Adios.